Hello and welcome to this video. In today's video we're going to look at the main differences between a kit and the item group on NetSuite. So let's begin with the item kit. Now with a kit you'll be able to track the price of the kit itself by kit, you know, by currency, by USD, Mauritian rupee, etc. But with the group, the item group, you're going to see the price of the group being the total of the components within the group itself. Okay, that's the first difference. The second difference is the accounting impact. When you are selling an item kit, you will be able to select which sales account you want to credit whenever you sell it. But when you're using an item group, it will just post to the sales account of each individual component. Okay, now the third main difference is, for example, if we go to on a sales order, when you enter a kit, you'll only see the name of the kit. You will not be able to see the components of the kit on the sales order. But when you fulfill the sales order, you will be able to see the components, but you're not going to be able to change their quantities. Now for the item group, when you look at the sales order, you are able to see all the components you can add components to that group you can even change quantities on the sales order and when you fulfill a sales order with an item group you will see that on the fulfillment you will be able to change the quantities as opposed to an, an item kit where you couldn't so you can change quantities here and you can even decide not to fulfill some of the component items that's all for today. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.